Welcome to another edition of 60 Minutes. My name is Jared Oblisk. Tonight we're going to look at something that's a little less serious than what we normally look at. We're going to look at the life of a gamer. Now the life of a gamer is unknown to us. That's why we're deciding to look into it tonight and hopefully get a better idea of what this species likes to do for fun. We're not exactly sure what makes a video game so addicting, why they huddle inside their basement and play nothing but video games all day. The act of picking up a video game like, like this should not be as addicting as it is, but we'll find out exactly what this species does for fun, why they spend so much time in their basement playing video games tonight on 60 Minutes. The day of a gamer starts out with the startup phase. This consists of activating the device that is used to so-called game. However, this is no simple task. This gamer, as we see here, is seemingly performing a startup ritual. We believe that this ritual will summon help from the mysterious gaming gods to aid in his gaming conquest. After the gamer requests the assistance from the gaming gods, he is now permitted to pick up the controller. This device is so powerful that it is able to control a being in another world which can be viewed through this monitor. As the gamer is controlling a being in another world, he is able to communicate with another fellow gamer that is controlling people as well. Sometimes these interactions between the gamers can be friendly, and other times they can become heated. He's going to go for a big play downfield. That was so close to an interception. Read that beautifully. As I mentioned before, the ritual is performed to receive aid in his gaming conquest. However, if the gamer does not perform the ritual correctly, then he could be abandoned in his time of need from the gaming gods. On days when things go well for the gamer, he will perform a ritual that thanks the gaming gods for assisting him in his time of need. The day will then come to an end for the gamer. Thank you for joining us tonight on 60 Minutes. We may have not learned everything we could uh, about the gamer, but what we do know is that they do love their games. And we found out that they have some very, very strange methods of worship and different methods that they use to live their daily life. We may not fully understand exactly why they worship a console of all things, but we do know that they love playing games. We must find out these unanswered questions. We cannot find all this information in only 60 minutes. This is a week worth of information to find. Even more than that. So hopefully you'll join us next time for another 60 Minutes where we will research into more of the aura of addictive consoles. What makes them so addictive? Find out next week on 60 Minutes.